Hey y'all, welcome back to Krista's Kitchen. Today the weather is nice and we really want to be outside playing for most of the day instead of inside in the kitchen cooking. Um, with just me and the babies at home right now, there's no reason to fire up the grill either. So I figured we'd do some barbecue chicken in the air fryer. It's going to be quick and simple and get lunch on the table and be ready to go with not a lot of prep work and it's still just as delicious. So, I'm going to bring you all a little bit closer and show you how that we're going to make our bacon wrap barbecue chicken and we're going to do it in the Ninja Foodie. Now, if you don't have a Ninja Foodie, you have an air fryer, this is going to work the exact same way. Um, but, let's move in closer and I'll show you all just how simple this is. Okay, so inside of my Ninja Foodie, I have my little air fryer basket. I've already cut up some chicken breast that I just cut into some even sized cubes and wrapped them in half of a strip of bacon. You see I was able to fit eight in the pan and I did spray the pan before putting them in. But we're just gonna drop them down into our air fryer. And y'all, like I said, this couldn't be any easier. We're just going to put a little dollop of barbecue sauce on the top of each one and then brush it over them. Now, if you want to speed up the process, you can uh, put the barbecue sauce on them before you put them in. And you can also preheat your air fryer. So we're gonna cook these at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. These first ones will probably take closer to 12 minutes because we just said it's not preheated and we, um, we got to get it warmed up. Once it's warmed up, they'll cook quicker. But you want to make sure that they're cooked all the way through. If you prefer chicken thighs, which are much juicier and they're not as bad for you as people think uh, or some people think. They, uh, they do have more fat in them, but if you're not eating like fried chicken or something every day, they're really not a bad source of protein. But chicken thighs, chicken tenders, whatever you like. I happen to have chicken breast in the freezer, so that's what I sliced up. All right, y'all. See how quick that was? Got it all brushed around. So we're going to close our lid, turn it on, and we're going to select the Air Crisp, which is the um, air fry version for the Ninja Foodie. We're going to take the temperature down to 350 and it automatically is going to give us 20 minutes so we're just going to decrease this down to 12 minutes and push start. Now in about five or six minutes I'm going to come in flip them to the other side because I want that bacon cooked and crispy on all sides and I'll add a little bit more barbecue sauce. So six minutes flip coat and close the lid. Um, so I'll see y'all back in 12 minutes and we'll do the reveal of how easy and delicious these are. Okay y'all, so we ended up going at 15 minutes for this first batch. But this is how they look after flipping halfway through and adding a few more minutes. Again, whenever I checked them at 12 minutes, it just wasn't quite right. The bacon still needed longer to cook, so just be mindful that you may have to go a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, but always keep a check on them. So I'm going to move these over to the plate, and then I'm going to show y'all how I do mine a little bit different. All I'm really doing is adding a little bit more seasoning. Uh, the kids don't like the seasoning on theirs, but I'll show y'all what I add to it. So be back in just a second. Okay, y'all, so you can see that I've got some little sliced jalapenos in there, and for mine, I just add a little bit of Cajun seasoning. So whatever your favorite Cajun seasoning is, I just coat the chicken in that before I wrap them up, and this time I use Nunu's, but I've used Tony's, all of that, but just to give it a little bit more flavor, a little bit more seasoning, and I love spice, so I'm tossing in some jalapeno peppers just to roast up and mix around with the chicken to give it a little bit more heat to it. But I'm going to put a little dollop of the barbecue sauce on top of each one, get this started, and I'll see y'all back once it's all done and we have it all plated up for the reveal. So we have the last few still going in here, but this is our finished product. We've got these back here are the ones that we didn't add any of the seasoning to. It's just the bacon, the barbecue sauce, and the chicken. 
and that's perfectly enough seasoning as it is. For these, I just amped it up a little bit to give them a little spice, put the jalapeno peppers in with it, and a little bit of that extra Cajun seasoning. But so yummy, quick to get on the table, or for us, for our little makeshift picnic. But it's good food, doesn't have to take long. So, super simple, barbecue, uh, barbecue chicken wrapped in bacon in the air fryer. Hope you give it a try, and thank y'all for joining us. See y'all next time. Bye.